Well hi guys, welcome back to the spare room. Amber again, this is part five of our little dynamo build. Just to recap, we've got a pattern and we've got a magnet so far. Next thing we really need is the end caps or the bearing caps. Looking at this, they go on the on the front there. And carry the armature, and they're just bits of. I've drawn these as five mil because this is the proportions that sort of look right. I've got some six by thirty-eight. These I've drawn as five by forty-two without thinking about it much. I've got some six by thirty-eight, which is a little bit short there on one end, and it's also probably a bit heavy. It's pretty solid brass, so. I'm not going to use that, I've got a bit of 50 by 5. What I'm going to do is cut two pieces nice and square, give them a sand up and sweat them together, then mark them out and, and machine them all and pull them apart later because they've got a match. So that's what we're going to do. I'll cut two pieces off here. So I've cut two bits of brass and tin one side of them with a brush and some soldering fluid, then some just some lead solder. And I'm just gonna warm these through so they stick together. If we turn the gas off that should be plenty hot enough I think and we'll let him cool off and make sure they're stuck together and then I'm going to machine a datum edge on here just along the front and mark the other surfaces to that one and cut it to size so that's the next bit so I've set this up on the lathe and Cleaning up one side. I'd like a decent Clarkson chuck or something to go on the tow headstock here, and that might just happen one day. It's probably cheaper just to buy a milling machine. So we might just clean up another side as well. So I've cleaned up two sides there nicely. They're all nice and square. Break the edges a little bit. So I don't cut my finger so it doesn't sit up. I guess the next thing to do would be to mark that. With 43 mil that way and 42 mil that way. So that's the two sides marked. And I'm just going to get in and mill these down to match match this one and they should be parallel everything should be nice and then we'll mark the, the two pieces across here but before we do that I might just check it against the model and get sort of a some idea that there's going to be enough clearance to put out our bearing hole in here so Anyway, that's all squared up, and 
I've marked the two holes here. I'm going to drill them both at once. There's another hole here which actually needs to line up on the centre there. If we have a look. It needs to line up on the centre of the the commutator exactly. We've got this spacer with a hole in it. We have a look, that's about where it wants to go, but probably the best way to do it would be to chuck this up again nice and true and drill it right through and make up a centre punch. And I think when everything's all lined up and bolted up, we put that in there and screw them on and centre punch them and drill them individually. So we might do that just to get these to this hole right. So I've got a counter bore here that I think is about 4 mil. I think it's about 4.2 which would probably be a, a pretty good start and, and we could probably just drill these in countersink sink them and use countersink screws or probably just Like round head or cap head or hex head, it'd look all right too. So I might just drill them through for a start, and if we decide to do this later, we probably can. I have to have a think about that. But next job will be to drill these two holes, and then we need to cut these off or, or mill them off. It's not really a particularly easy job to set up. I think I'll just do them in the milling slide again. While we've got it on the lathe. Mill these out nice and even. Probably they'd be fine just filed, but I'll mill them up while we're doing it. And we can probably separate those two parts. So let's get in and set these up and and drill them out. The vice isn't a bad idea because it's a nice sharp drill on this brass and it's going to grab. So we've got one of those. And that's our two holes drilled to mount it on the base. If we look at our pattern, that goes there. Pretty well like that, something like that. One each end. So I've just set that up with a piece of tool steel and the tool maker's clamp on there and set him up parallel to the jaw. That should be pretty right. Plenty close enough now. I'm going to, I've am i got him nice and tight. I'm just going to take this off and mill him down to size. So that's about the last cut there. I've actually ended up setting this up a lot closer here because I was getting a bit of chatter. And to be honest, it's sticking out a lot past the past the bed. I mean, you're back here and then you're back again. So uh, what I've done is put that in a bit closer and got on pretty well with it. And we've got the basic shapes cut out.
bit of a clean up with file and break the edges and we're going to warm them up and split them in two so that'll be next let's get our shape basically pointed sorted out it seems pretty true and even and same distance here and here and each side of the middle they need splitting them apart but it occurs to me that a dowel hole on one side might be a good idea just to align everything up especially if we use cheese head screws to hold this together so we might just put an eighth dowel just just off one side there and drill it and ream it now so we've got an eighth reamer and I'll drill him a fraction under and and ream him in the drill press so the reamer I've got is three millimeters and that'll be nice so I've run a number 34 drill through there which should be just nicely undersized then chucked up a 3mm reamer So now we've got a nice reamed dowel hole, nice and square hopefully. We'll put that away. We might give these a good, a good clean up because if we leave all this blue and fingerprints and things on there they're just going to get black when we warm them up. Our next job is to get the heart out, shift some of this stuff and clean up. And that's how that's going to look. So I've just set that up on an angle so that the, the front one's not touching and hopefully when they start to move we'll see one slide down. So they separated pretty easy. I think we'll just let them cool down a bit and give the, the soldered side a clean up on some emery tape and these bits are starting to look like finished as much as we can at the moment. Anyway, they cleaned up pretty easy and pretty quick. There's a little bit of cavitation in the solder there and I might give that a bit more of a rub. It's not that you can feel it. It's just got a little bit warm there I think and a little bit more of a rub won't hurt that. They're a pretty sweet match really for that. And they sit there on that casting which is actually flush with the bottom because we're going to machine that much off the casting. And if we have a look here, looking straight down on it, that's what it's sort of going to look like. Of course that won't fit in the pattern because of the draft angles and the little bit of extra for shrinkage. But it gives you some idea, so that's those parts done. Hey, don't forget to watch 
my 500 subscribers video there's a giveaway speaking of casting patterns this one and the materials to build this little engine like Mr. Pete says be sure and watch the Kenneth Wells construction series if you haven't already done so so be sure and watch that um, and enter the drawer if you're interested because there's all the materials to build that little engine so that's a heads up too anyway thanks for watching and that's another part done don't forget to comment and subscribe and all that sort of stuff and more soon guys thanks